Hello and welcome. This is Nate, and today I have for you this Dutch Housing Spire series. It's going to be the model 2860H32301. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1568 square foot home. So you got a really nice primary bathroom. Really large living room with a super nice entertainment center built in. We got the corner pantry, of course, and uh, so this is going to be a manufactured home. So this is built at the Topeka, Indiana facility. We are at the 2024 Louisville Home Show. I like the colors that they used out here, especially this recessed entranceway. And with that, let's head on in. So as soon as we come in, we have this coat closet. Which gives you a nice little foyer entrance. So now we gotta open the door back up. And we're gonna start off in the living room. So you got tons of recessed lights all throughout the home. There's your built-in entertainment center. And you can see they filled this spot with the TV. That is a 65 inch TV. And then we can close off the TV and open up these uh, little display cabinets. Now you can do that on both sides, so we'll get you a shot of what it looks like. And here's what that would look like with your TV closed off and having all your display cabinets open. Of course, we can't forget to look at the fireplace. Facing this way, let's come down here and get the uh, guest bathroom and bedrooms. We have the cabinet above the toilet. Nice size linen closet. Some of the options available for you on this home. And now for the bedroom. For our closet, 
It's a good sized closet. It's nice and deep. You got two sets of racks. So you can hang a lot of clothes in there. In the second bedroom. Once again, we have the dual racks. The same size closet is on the other side. And then our dining room. Two recessed lights over the dining table. The sliding glass door over there. All right, so we have the granite countertops, as I said, all throughout the kitchen. We've got the USB A and USB C and the plug on this end. And if it's like the others, there will be a standard plug at the other end. And we've got your drawers over doors. No plug at this end, okay? I misspoke. I guess we'll, right here we might as well check out the buffet counter or the coffee bars they've got it listed as. This really nice backsplash here. And we can open the cabinet up over here and you've even got an adjustable shelf. Oh, yeah. nice. Nice. Good. And we do have the drawers over doors as I stated. Lots of drawers. There is your microwave. You got the Whirlpool or the Whirlpool black appliance package so you can probably option in the stainless steel the undermount sink and you can see your window opens as they've got it partially open here corner pantry your backsplash goes all the way to the ceiling over your stove I haven't pointed out we do have under cabinet lighting and before we go in there we got to come down and get the bedrooms, but first we got to show you the utility room. So we have our closet. We have our furnace. And then our water heater. You've got a folding table. There is your breaker panel, your washer and dryer hookups, and plenty of room for a stand-up freezer right there. So now as we come out of the utility room, I do remember I already did the bedrooms. I'm you know, trying to film here at the show is a lot of interruptions, and so I couldn't remember if I did the bedrooms or not. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do the primary bedroom now. Seems like this is the last thing we got to get done. Yeah, 
into our closet. Now you can see this is a very large walk-in closet. So we have some really nice built-ins. Hello, Raiden. So with a different color of backsplash here and the round sinks in this one. And the tile in your shower goes all the way to the ceiling. So this is gonna be a four foot by 60 inch shower. And I hope you all will leave me one of those four foot comments down in the comment section below, letting me know what you think of this home. Do you like the color options I used or would you want to go with some different color cabinetry? Let me know and while you're there don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications that way you get notified when I upload the rest of these videos and I will be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, all right, that is the Aspire series by Dutch Housing. So this one was the model number, where was it here? <laughs> Gotta get in the light. It's it's 11 o'clock at night trying to film this so this is the model 2860 h 32301 i know what a long number there so you can see it <laughs> we got to get some price information on this one now there are a lot of options available for this one so this one has a lot of options available i'm gonna pop up a list of the features that were in this one as shown but there's also a package C, which is a little bit different, doesn't have quite as many options, or it has different options, and it comes in at a lower price point. So the first one, the, as shown, now I don't know if the exact pricing on this is going to be what the dealer's going to charge, or if it is going to be what the dealer is charged, and then the dealer will mark it up a little bit more after that. That much I don't know. Obviously, the dealer marks up the house overall from what they pay to what they charge you. Or otherwise, they wouldn't make any money, right? <laughs> I don't know exact pricing. This is a home show. Estimated retail pricing is all I can give you. So this has got $17,395 in options as shown based on what the dealer itself is going to pay. Now, like I said, the dealer may charge you more for those options, or they may not. That varies dealer to dealer also. Now, package C has got uh, a di whole different package it comes with, so different options, things like that. It comes in at $13,245, so you could save about $4,000 by going with package C versus as shown not a lot of differences but there are some differences but now estimated retail price on this one is going to be right about a hundred and forty thousand dollars which is about right for a uh, what was it 1568 square foot yep it's a manufactured home it's not a modular so it's going to be a little bit cheaper because it's only hud code versus state code so $140,000 is the estimated retail price. I think that's a pretty good price overall. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you're liking these home show videos, don't forget to check out the playlist over here. And I will put up something from Champion over here for you to check out. Seems how this is a Champion built home by Dutch Housing. So they're kind of a subsidiary of Champion. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.